thanks again, everyone. Really appreciate you uh, joining us today. Hi, my name's Dave Page, and thanks for joining us on this webinar. We've also got Julio, a resident in-house language expert and teacher, as well as an experienced video and filmmaker. And today we have a very special guest, filmmaker Merka Anderson, uh, to dis oh. discuss Down syndrome education and awareness while showing her award-winning film, The Sky's the Limit, about the journey of her inspiring daughter, Emma. First, let me give you a quick uh, bit of background about Film Do Academy. So Film Do Academy um, actually started out as a global online film streaming platform, helping people find and watch feature films and shorts all over the world, covering 83 countries and 35 languages now. So we've spent just over the past two years developing software that works over the top of video and film content to create interactive courses that can be used by schools and tutors um, in class, online, with live lessons, set as homework, um, or even as self-study and home tuition. In 2009, we had uh, uh, discussions and pilots with large corporations such as the BBC and Guildhall School of Music and Drama in London and also the language uh, flagship program based in the US which provides its 21 universities with language programs and is funded heavily funded by the US Department of Defence. Since the pandemic we've been working hard to help schools and teachers back here in the UK including SEN schools and teachers. So our software helps, uh, enables a teacher to create a class with the help of a film or video content and then adding personalised interactions. So using film interactively in the form of a multiple choice game enables the student to engage in the content and get a result on how they've done at the end. So tutors are able to download those scores uh, from the students at the end of the game, each and every game, and track the pro progress of how they're getting on. Using video in this way helps keep students interested, uh, motivated and focused. And the great thing with Film Do Academy is that any video can be used. So it can be completely tailored to the individual. And even the same video uh, can be used with different interactions, different questions for different students and abilities. So it becomes very, very personalized. Overall, it makes learning fun. And that is a really, really important factor with all students to maintain engagement. So enough about me and us. Uh, I'd like you to welcome Julio and his special guest to speak about the experiences and insights. So Julio and Merka, thanks ever so much for today's webinar and welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I think Dave did a, a great introduction to Merka, which is, uh, I'm, I'm very happy that we get her today to talk. Uh, and to show her really, really inspiring film about her even more inspiring daughter, as they've said. Uh, Mirka is a linguist and speech and language therapist. So I, I found fascinating when I met her through a film festival that she's not only a filmmaker and the mom from someone, you, uh, a great artist that has a condition uh, that we're going to talk about today, but it's also someone that is an educator herself, which I think it's uh, very gives her a, a very very unique point of view. So we're gonna show today the last five minutes of the entire short, and we'll share with you um, the actual entire film because it's very 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 interesting. Uh, it's a photo film, so I just wanted to perhaps start with Mirka telling her telling us a little bit about Emma and explaining us, let's say, the missing gap that we'll have on the film because we're gonna watch the end. So. Uh, yeah, hopefully you will give us a little bit of an insight before we play the game and watch the film. Thank you very much, Mirka, and over to you. Thank you, David and Julio, and off we go. <laughs> My name is Mirka Anderson. I was born in Poland a long time ago. I've lived in England for the past 50 years, and 30 years, 37 years ago, to be precise, my adventure with my daughter Emma started. Emma was born at the teaching Cambridge Hospital and the day after her birth, I was informed that she had Down syndrome and I don't have to take her home. I was surprised because as a student of speech and language therapy, I had the pleasure and I was honored to be 
actually working with people with Down syndrome, both children and adults, and I found them absolutely fascinating, with amazing insight, with phenomenal perceptual abilities, and great depth of thinking. Uh, because the con consultant pediatrician stated that I don't have to take her home, being a, an oppositionist, I said, well, that's like I'm taking her home. I took her home, and I must admit, first nine months were a bit of a struggle because poor Emma wasn't growing, and she wasn't keeping her foot down. Nobody showed any interest in the reasons, until one day, a local GP said, Put your ear to her chest. It's like Niagara Falls. I was surprised because having done a bit of anatomy, I knew that thyroid problems and heart problems are the main thing you check out prior to discharge from a hospital. And considering the status of the hospital, I was expecting them to follow the rules. Well, they didn't. So we had to work very hard to make <laughs> to make them again the weight that's required to proceed with a very, very serious open heart surgery. It took me till two years old to basically feed her up whatever to prepare her for the operation. Great almond Street were absolutely phenomenal. They had to reconstruct her heart, i.e. missing walls. And they were very, very chuffed with themselves because they managed to do it in 80%. The success was phenomenal. Emma was put in an induced coma for two weeks. I stayed there for two weeks, holding her hand and supporting her emotionally. Finally, I was told by the nurses to go home and have a rest for God's sake. So I did. And when I returned, at the beginning of the next week. There she was sitting in a baby chair going, ma, well, that was the happiest moment at the very, very beginning of our existence. We went home and we started working. I could see potential. I could see interest. I could see inquisitiveness. I could see the will to communicate, interact. I could see her fantastic social skills. So I've decided to break all the rules, being Polish, and to jump over every possible bit of red tape, starting with nursery. I suggested to the local authorities to accept them into ordinary nursery with ordinary children. And I promised to pay for the helper and the, the fees. That was rejected for the blank because it wasn't the policy of the local authority. I asked them to reconsider because I believe strongly that everybody deserves a chance in life. Why not start at a very early age? That was rejected again as sort of unthinkable. I persevered and I won. And so we started our educational route from ordinary nursery with the helper to primary school with the same helper, and then college, our local village college, who accepted Emma, much to our surprise, gave her achievement certificates in maths out of all the subjects. None of us is mathematically oriented. And she finished the local college with a GCSE in art. Well, <laughs> that was something. With that, it was recommended that she attend a special needs group at Cambridge Regional College. The group was run by professional artists who discovered that my daughter's paintings are where they visit the Tate Modern Gallery. They were sent just to see whether they are acceptable. The result was exhibition at Tate Modern. Then we had visited various galleries in London. Emma's status as an artist was growing. My ego as a mother was growing. <laughs> and it was absolutely amazing. And I was so happy 
that despite their overall social attitude and grouping them rather than in involving them in a normal social functioning, we won. So, having traveled with them all over the world and seeing that people with Down syndrome are either marginalized, not shown at all, or put in the same social group as being different, unemployable, unacceptable, etc., which turned out to be contrary to the fact because they can be employed, they do function socially. They're tremendous travelers, I must tell you. My best buddy is Emma. We've been everywhere from Alaska to Antarctica. We've seen the world and everywhere we went, we had phenomenal welcome from staff, from people around us regarding of nationality, regardless of nationality. So having experienced all these positives and Emma's success taken together, I've decided to record it, make a film to show people that things are not as bad as they look. We are all human, we are all different, we all have different abilities, we have different skills, and there is no need to reject, marginalize, push away, or even worse, ignore, because the skills these people offer are fantastic. And at times I feel they are very, very human, even more than us on many levels. So this is the introduction to my film. Absolutely. If that's enough, I don't know whether you want to know anymore. All I'm going to say that from Cambridge Regional College, Emma was referred to a local art studio called Rowan Humberstone in Cambridge. That was 13 years ago. She is still there creating phenomenal pieces of art, socializing and absolutely flourishing in her life. So let's hope she continues. And I hope you enjoy my little bit of the film. Absolutely. Well done. Thank you for that intro. That's really insightful. Thank you very much, Mirka. And yeah, as, as Mirka says, we're going to show this clip of her wonderful film. We're going to share with you the entire film. But just for now, this is the about the last five minutes of the, the story she told us, which is very, very powerful and it's even better when you watch it. Uh, you only need to click this on your URL, so www.fdo.oo. I'm going to put it on the chat anyways. Uh, uh. And then it will ask you for a room name with any device you want to play. And the room name is Peach. I'm going to share that as well. So, little disclaimer. Uh, this is Mirka's and Emma's personal journey. We did the film, but we wanted to test a little bit the awareness of everybody's uh, uh, on Down syndrome, the condition, and also on Down syndrome people. And, and as, as Mirka was explaining, there is so much mi misconception, there is so much misinformation, and there is so much lack of, of uh, awareness for, for not only uh, who they are of what they actually can achieve, but also how different uh, everybody is as, as we all are. So, um, yeah, so it's the, the question. Part. Hello. Sorry, here we are butting in. Just before you start that, um, on the live channels, on the LinkedIn and uh, Facebook, etc., there is a delay. So this will be probably more of a watch um, sort of party for, for okay. you guys. But, um, we'll, uh, what we do is we'll actually post this particular course afterwards down in the chat so you can actually play it your, uh, uh, in your own time. But yeah, yeah, looking forward to this. Well done with this, Merka. So this is what um, Merka's film, uh, this is what the course is based on. Five minutes, is it, of Merka's film? Yeah. Right, Great see. stuff. Looking forward to it. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> Hello, 
Okay, so first question, do people with Down syndrome socialize? A little bit of a no-brainer. One answer. Okay, second question coming up. Can these people be educated at school? Amir, if you wanna jump ahead and give us some notes on this question, please feel free. Well, as with everybody else, the inclusion in ordinary school depends on individuals, individuals' capacities, intellectual abilities. Lots of people with support can mentioned this one before, can people with DS work? Yes or no? Well done, Nadia. Bye. 
do people with down syndrome have common interests yes no or depending on their cognitive level yes play Well now the uh, the even Chris. Can yes people marry? Yes or no, or they are not interested in marriage. Down syndrome people's speech is often unclear because they speak, they speak carelessly. Most Down syndrome people have an enlarged tongue or they rush speech. Hope you're doing better than me. Hold on, Dave. Yes, individuals' actions are slower than ours because they're not interested, they do not understand instructions, or they process information slowly. <laughs> you have a visitor here.
Last question. Down syndrome is an illness, a condition, or a disorder? Very important one. Okay. Okay, these are the final scores. Dave, Charles, and Nadia. I'm sharing my screen. Come back. Thank you very much to everyone who played. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I think, Dave, you're here. Was it cheating that I came first? <laughs> <laughs> <That's true. laughs> congratulations i'm very competitive no great stuff great great work and a great video as well um is emma there to say a quick hello yeah. hello emma. hi emma hi very, very well done very well done i love your art right <laughs> it is fantastic and well done Merker, on that on that video it's brilliant Thank you very much. Really, really really good and we'll um we will send the link underneath the video here so that everyone can play it at their their heart's content. It is available for free. Okay, lovely. Brilliant stuff. Well, thank you ever so much. Uh, if anyone's got any questions, um, certainly on the subject of Down syndrome or about the video or about our tool, please do um, click underneath, post your uh, messages, and we'll send them on to Merkel. So. And help answer it. Uh, we've got a recorded short demonstration video of the tool uh, that's presented by our head of technology and design, Rob, and our CEO, Verada. So what we do is we'll also post that video underneath as well. If you're a teacher or a school, or even a parent interested in finding out more about our tool, please visit our website at filmdo.academy. You can sign up there for a 14 day um, free trial where you can use course material that's already been created like Merka's done here, uh, um, you can even use that as well and put your own interactive questions in there, or you can make and create your very own. Also available is a 15 minute demonstration, one-to-one -one meeting in which uh, one of our team can show you how to create a class and answer any questions or queries you might have. So thank you guys ever, ever so much we have once again. One, one quick question for Emma, actually. It's, yeah. uh, Somebody says, hi, Emma, how did you get started as an artist? Um, let's say 18. 18? 18, yeah. Yeah, 18. 18. Yeah. How did and you... How, how come? What drew, what drew you to it? Oh, what, what made you do it? Um, it just comes in my head. It just comes in okay. my head, really. Yeah. Perfect. Great. <laughs> Fantastic. I have a question for Mirka, myself, and we've been discussing it for the past few weeks. Is uh, I, I know you've been through this journey with Emma, and and it's been almost four decades of it. So I wonder, what do you think has really improved in terms of uh, special needs education, and especially with Down syndrome awareness? And what do you think is still missing or should be improved, like as a big focus now? Okay. Let me zoom quickly over the period of 50 years in this country. I came to this country when I was 20 and I've never ever experienced any contact with any person with Down syndrome in Poland. That speaks for itself. Yeah. Every country has these lovely and fascinating people 
but because of the tradition of keeping them at home, isolating them, because they won't do anything anyway, quoting my con consultant pediatrician, they were totally isolated and not allowed to be included in the society because of their different appearance, different processing skills, and different skills to all of us. Coming now, there is huge progress. There is onus on every school to give them a chance, if obviously there is potential. So uh, I've noticed more open-mindedness, more awareness that looks are not everything. Everybody is able to contribute towards the society one way or the other. It doesn't have to be monetary one because there are all other elements that are necessary in our existence. And also I've noticed traveling all over the world that people became more accepting of Down syndrome because they see more of them. So the more we expose them to everyday life, general community, yeah. the more interaction is established and that will increase yeah. in our perception of their goodness, of their positivity, yeah. and of their tremendous good heart. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Creates a real integration, I uh, absolutely, completely agree. Can I think you, yes, sorry Dave. I was going to say, kind of um, covering what you just said there about some of your story, you know, early doors when you were trying to get them to uh, preschool. I thought that was inspiring. I think it's really important that, uh, you know, other children see other children and all abilities. I think it's really, really important for like, for the diversity. Everyone is completely individual and different. I think that was really, really good of you to push until they finally said yes. And I haven't added that Emma has been volunteering for years in a local nursery. So the oh. children are learning about Emma being different, yet part of their gang. They love her, she loves them. And that's another educational experience Absolutely. For, Absolutely. for the tutors, the teachers, etc. So we are spreading the word. Good. That's and what it's thank about. Thank you for your support. It. One last question from Facebook, and 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 we're off. Uh, hi Emma, how did? You, uh, sorry, from Facebook, Mirka. Do you have any more films planned about Emma or otherwise? Uh, not at the moment. I'm in the process of writing a book of um, of my experiences coming here from socialist Poland to capitalist England. <laughs> Some people might very might find very interesting because things were definitely different then oh yeah but when it comes to films we might do something about our travels because it's been very very interesting but it will be more pictorial than including the videos okay we actually did a lot of traveling all over the world and that would be educational from the geographical point of view and the fact that emma has been mixing with other countries and experiencing new cultures and new languages and adapting to the situation, but that's another social skill. Yeah, we see a little bit of those travelings uh, on the film and it's, it's, it's great. Very, very, very envious. I want to do them. You will, you will, Julian, with no problem. What well, was you and your Emma's favourite place uh, to visit? Last question. Emma, what was your favourite place? Oh, uh, my place is Washington, D.C. Okay, how come? The monuments? <laughs> so because I saw Trump. You what? <laughs> you saw Trump. Because I saw Trump. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect to close. <laughs> <Very easy. Yeah. laughs> well, I told you, Emma is honest, open. I know, Lovely. absolutely. Keep it up. Yeah. And very, oh, very genuine, so you get what you want. Absolutely. She oh, is honesty. <laughs> <laughs> and we did go to White House, and we did wait. 
she insisted and we failed because he used, oh. he used the side entrance so we missed ah. it. Oh, that's a shame. But it was cool, it was cool, yeah. Cool. Brilliant well, stuff. Thank you so much, uh, Mirka and Emma, to join us. It was absolutely fantastic to have you. Uh, Dave? Yes, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Really, really appreciate this. And uh, hopefully uh, this is going to raise the awareness as well. And uh, again, with parents as well, with a Down syndrome child, hopefully your story will inspire them to maybe travel more and uh, broaden you know, the horizons. That would be brilliant. And thank you for making it yeah. possible. Absolutely. We, thank you so much. Keep up the work, Emma. We love it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Emma. Thank you, so thank you. Have thanks, a good day. Day. Take care, everybody. Thank you ever so much Bye. for joining us. Bye. 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 Bye.